When I'm the next, the day after the fire department, I have no patience. <laughs> I see. Okay, tell me when you're ready. Ready when you are. Everybody's playing the blame game. You play it, I play it, we all play it. The blame game, you know what it is. Blaming other people for problems that you're having. When you blame other people and you don't take responsibility for your own actions, you rob yourself of the ability to be successful and to make things happen. It's on the television, it's on social media, it's everywhere. It's like a disease. Everybody wants to point the finger and blame somebody else rather than look into the mirror, deep into your own soul and find out what is truly the problem. You blame this person, blame that person. People are blaming people they don't even know. My advice to you, turn off the television. Stop watching the news. You don't need to know what's going on with everybody everywhere. What you need to do is focus on yourself. Don't blame other people. There's great strength when you are responsible for your own actions. If you blame other people and you don't accept that responsibility, you rob yourself of the freedom, of the ability to move forward, to learn something from a mistake, the ability to be successful. By taking responsibility and saying, it's my fault, now you have control. Now you have the ability to take whatever it is and make it into something great, to become more successful. Now, the blame has a cousin, it's called the excuse. So many people are full of excuses. I'll wait till tomorrow. I can't do it. It's too difficult. Do people who are very successful make excuses and blame other people? Or do they focus on themselves? Do they focus on every day coming up with a good routine to be positive? What about you and your community? Most people that play the blame game, and they're doing it all the time, especially if you're on Facebook, they're good people. But why do they do this? They get caught up. They let things affect them. And we have one choice, and that choice is how do we react to it? So when things happen, stop for a moment. Detach yourself. Don't be emotional about it and think. But sometimes the problems are created by watching television, seeing what's going on in the world, rather than paying attention to all the good things that are going on. Steve Jobs, if he had made excuses, we wouldn't be using iPhones. Jimi Hendrix taught himself how to play the guitar. He could have made the excuse, well, I didn't have any money, nobody taught me, he didn't care. He focused on himself. And if you've ever watched some of these very successful people, when people start blaming or asking questions about problems, they, you know, they, they shy away from it and they only focus on the things that they actually can't control. Now one thing is very true, you can't control people. You can try to go out there and be a political activist or you can, you know, try to make a point, but people are gonna believe what they wanna believe. But you can't and with your actions affect people in a very positive way. First, stop blaming other people. You know, they always say two wrongs don't make a right. So don't make wrongs when you want to be right. Just make things right. And it starts with reacting. Just don't be emotional. Don't make excuses. Be the person that you want to be, that you dream to be. Don't blame other people. If you want true power, take responsibility. Start with these words, it's my fault. That gives you the power to control it. Stop playing the blame game, set yourself free. Delta. You know, many people ask me, the past five to seven years of your life has been super transformational. What's the secret? Well, let me tell you what the answer is. I've spent years learning from many people. I'm still seeking out new knowledge and new people to exchange information to learn from. But the most important thing is to look inside yourself and to be okay with messing up. Just make sure that you practice the phrase, it's my fault. Going through the fire academy twice and being a firefighter is an honor but we have three ways that we respond. Yes, sir, no, sir, and no excuse, sir. 
That's my daily mantra. You really need to focus on what you love to do, what you believe in, and who you are. So my question is, who are you? What are you doing? What is your purpose on this planet? You know, many of us are martial artists, but we're just borrowing it. It's not ours to keep. It's like that in life. We're here for a very short time. And then I started laughing to myself. I started laughing to myself. You know, Joe. Yeah. Because I'm really like, talking about vlogs, and I'm like, I've been telling everyone to do it. So instead of excuses, instead of complaining, I think of solutions. I dream as much as I can. My life is a quest, it's a vision quest. The experiences I've had, second to none. I've lived five to six lifetimes, and the people I've met, whether good or bad, the experiences have been super profound.